Good afternoon and welcome to NYFP. This afternoon I'm joined by Uzi Yemen, who is CEO and President of Delic Holdings. Hi, good afternoon. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you, Rami. Thanks for having me here. Well, first and foremost, your company is celebrating its fifth anniversary as a public company. Could you outline for the audience the operations of Delic Holdings? Absolutely. Delic US Holdings is a downstream integrated company. We own a couple of refineries in the southeast. Uh, one in Tyler, Texas, the other one in El Dorado, Arkansas. And we have 400 convenience stores that are being supplied partially by the uh, refineries. Also, we have uh, close to 1,800 miles of pipelines with uh, several terminals. Uh, through them, we sell to other people uh, gasoline, uh, distillate, and other uh, fuel products. Well, since you mentioned a couple of petroleum products, uh, investors around the world are keeping a close eye on crude oil prices, especially WTI and Brent. But given the relationship of uh, WTI to your company, can you tell me how recent trading action has affected your company? Absolutely. Uh, as a matter of fact, WTI, the trade WTI uh, Brent was uh, um, very uh, beneficial to our company as we run um, in Tyler, Texas, uh, mostly or almost everything uh, WTI um, related uh, uh, crudes and uh, these uh, crudes are being priced off WTI which is traded uh, in $20, $25 discount to Brent. Uh, in El Dorado, a refinery we just bought four months ago, we're running uh, one third of it as WTI. Uh, remaining will be uh, heavier crude, mostly local crudes that are priced off Brent or some of Brent, but uh, if you look at the total system, we're two-third TI and one-third uh, Brent related. And now that we've covered that, uh, year to day, your company is the best performing independent refiner here in the U.S. So could you give me a little bit of background in terms of that? Absolutely. Uh, what we did uh, during the uh, downtrend of refining, we actually negotiated with a seller and we, uh, during this year, we completed an acquisition of another refinery. That's the El Dorado refinery. It's an 80,000 barrels refinery with a crude unit of 100,000 barrels. So uh, the market uh, apparently liked the idea that we expanded the company and uh, we, uh, we benefit from the TI uh, differential as well as uh, expanding the uh, refining sector. If you look at our refining sector, it used to be 60,000 barrels, and now it's 140,000 barrels. Okay, well, last but not least, before we wrap it up for today's interview, uh, going into the rest of 2011, could you give me a uh, short-term outlook for your company? Uh, well, uh, it's all it all depends on the TI uh, brand. Uh, now, the analysts are looking at 15 to $20 differential between TI and Brent for the remaining of the year. That is very, very good for our company. As, uh, as I said, two-thirds of the uh, crudes that we run are TI priced. And uh, if we look at the crack spread today, they are north of $30. Crack spread is the way we make money. So north of $30, that's the uh, market for us. So we're very optimistic. And uh, look at this second part of the year as a very, very uh, successful part. Okay, well, thank you so much for your time today and good luck with the closing bell. Thank you, Rami. Thank you so much.